Welcome to today's tutorial. We will be treating how to create calendar or design calendar of A2 paper size to a piece of Let's not forget that the first thing to do whenever we are designing a printable design is to set our paper size which is the first thing we're going to be doing today how to design a calendar of A2 paper don't forget A2 paper size in pizza so I'm going to impute A2 paper in pizza is here ready a2 paper size in pizza it is 4961 pizza by 7016 pizza it is the width which is the breadth will be 4961 and then the the, the height will be 7016 pizza so a little bit copying this that is what I'm going to be using for the for the design. 4961 is by 7,000 As you can see now the workspace has changed like the paper size has changed this is where i will be working and doing my calendar design 4961 width and the height is 7016 height so i'm going to be changing the background color I'm going to be changing the background color to white. Then I'll be importing the image I will use as a background. I'm going to be making use of my birthday picture for this. I just want it to be a very brief tutorial so that it won't take much time. So Let's go. Okay. There we are. So I'm going to be adjusting it. The top. And the next thing is to bring in, is to lock it. So I bring in my. I'm going to bring in my calendar now. Calendar where I got it is PNG all.com. PNG all.com. So you go on the check the description link and get it downloaded, downloaded from that website. It's free. So I'm going to be removing this 2023 from there. I have it this way. So this is it. Let me enable my rollers. Remember, it's a printable calendar.
going to be locking this as well and bring in the ship. Know how to set our transparency, our transparency, how to transparency our transparency our image together with the background. I taught you this in the previous tutorial. That happy Sunday. So. to adjust the image and the shape take them up a bit right. so the next thing is to include the right up under the image Let me change the fonts. So after this, I'm going to click on the calendar and then ensure that it's having same color if not same color at least it should be having color that let me give it another color let me change the color of the of the calendar try to match the design well, let me give it blue color See how I did that. Change it, making use of the hue, hue, making use of the hue. So, you, making use of the hue, you can use to change the color to the color that matches the former color that was there. So that's it. So I'm going to be making use of this blue. Let me give it a gun alone. Let's so do it this way, and then I have tools. You can extend the padding. Four fifty four. Then increase the radius. Middle bit at seven. That's that. The 
the color is too it's too deep too deep color cannot work together you can just brighten the color let me brighten it a bit and leave it at this brighten or you can still go ahead and brighten it more than that So spacing, just give it that. So empty. Then centralize your work. And if you feel like using. Okay, having done that, let me send. Let me make this one all centralized. The calendar, the image calendar itself. Let me try and do something. Let's just centralize the ring into the mid repeat. Mm -hmm. Want it to be well centralized before we conclude over that. Okay. So that's that about that. So don't mind the blow, the way it's blow, don't worry. By the time you export it, everything will, be, will come, out, come out good and well. So you can still style your, your design. That is your text to your taste. Let me go back to that. Okay, let me give it a gradient color. Let me check the color I use initially. 030159. Okay. I want to use it in a gradient color. Adjust it a bit. Okay. Mm 
all right i'm okay with this so the okay. then the color let me just bring in the color let me, let me make the, well, let me make use of white for the color so that it will look good so let me carry out some other things on this Use the size of the calendar, centralize it. Everything will still come out well. Then you can just come up with a shape to create that. For then, let me. For then, let me increase it a bit. Alright, centralize. Just it. Bring it in shape. Okay, maybe something like this. So you can go ahead and do something like this. Let me see it. Okay. Now you can add your details here. Add your details on this overhead. That we're having here the overhead um, space that we're having there. Then you can as well come over and then work on your let me bring this down. Okay. So, even in the white color. So you can add every other detail that you want to add to it. So you can as well add some pattern to the or effect to the background here. Let me go quickly do something. Okay. 
I'm okay with this. You may choose to add some other design to, to it if you don't like a text pattern like this. Depend on your choice. So I'm going to be adding what I do here so that we go to, to fill in that provided space down here. Okay, services. Here we are. Okay. Centralize it so that That's on the side, then take it to this extreme end here. And yes. will be here. Okay. Then the next thing I can just put in the address or in the email. Let me do it this way.
to even add to add, let me add a shape to it to bring out it's another element in You can also add so many, so many other information or details that you feel like adding to it. And you are good to go. So, then you save your work, save image. Remember the custom the dimension should be in ultra. You save to your gallery. That's all. God bless you for watching.